we're live. I almost forgot that it was Tuesday and it's typical Tuesday. And here we all are. Well, we aren't, here I am. I'm just out having a nice, beautiful walk. My name is Tia Goins, by the way. I'm a singer songwriter out of Nashville, Tennessee. And once a week, we get together here on YouTube and we have a live chat. It's called Typical Tuesday with Tia. And never is there a typical Tuesday. Today, eh, I'm just out walking. I walk different places all over Nashville. There are parks everywhere throughout Nashville. So I'm always trying to find new places to walk, new places to get out and enjoy the beauty of this springtime weather we're having here. By the way, if I must say, it's probably 70 degrees right now at whatever time. What is it, like 5.30 or something, I think? Beautiful, beautiful. Seriously though, it's wonderful. And um, look at that sunset happening. I mean, honestly, look at that, right? Just can't ask for that kind of beauty. Anyway, so um, yeah, welcome to the live chat. Uh, I titled this Spring is Sprung because as much as this beauty and everything thrills my heart, look at these blue skies. Oh, beautiful weather. It's been wonderful. Hey, Sharon, um, it has been, the allergies have reared their ugly head. Like they do, they do it every year. I'm prepared, I'm ready for it. Well, I'm never quite ready for it. You kind of just wake up one day and go, oh, there they are. Um, woke up with a little bit of a sore throat this morning, a little scratchy throat situation, you know. Um, but it's, it's cleared itself up throughout the day, so that's fine. I am started taking my allergy medicine and all that stuff. Hi guys, hi Kathy and Julie. I see you guys on there. Hey, James is with me, right? I mean, it just happens. It's just like all of a sudden, but that's a good sign. For me, it's a great sign. I will suffer the beginning of allergy season if I know that the weather's gonna get warmer and it's gonna be beautiful outside. I'm here for it. I'll suffer it, it's fine. Sorry if this is like giving you seasickness because I'm bouncing. A friend of mine named Roscoe, he's probably watching. Uh, he sweetly sent me this thing that you, you wear on your neck to like hold your phone while you walk. But unfortunately it sits about this close to my face. So it wouldn't really, it didn't really do the trick, but I'm sure that someone, I could have brought a selfie stick, but like I said, I honestly completely forgot that it was Tuesday. So I was not prepared, shocking. But uh, I try to be prepared for these things, but I'm not. So how are you guys? Let me see what y'all are saying. Yeah, see a lot of people are hating the allergies. I hate them, but I love what they represent because that means it's gonna be spring. There's gonna be green on these trees. There's gonna be sunshine. It's gonna be wonderful. So, um, whoop, I just hit a button, sorry. Anyway, yeah. Um, hi, uh, Christy and James and Debbie and Kathy and Michael and uh, Susan, Timothy. Yeah, I know, right? It's, I, think, I think the weather's pretty nice everywhere. Look at that. Look at that, just that sunset on a country road. That's nice, that's my kind of place, right there. If I can be outside, I wanna be outside. So if you don't know anything about me, know that. But if I can be outside, walking around, taking in the sunshine, that's where I wanna be. How are you? What's new this week? What y'all been doing? What's been going on? Are you on spring break? Most people around here are on spring break that I know of. I think all the schools around Nashville are out this week, which is wonderful. Um, yeah, okay, there's gonna be a beautiful sunset tonight. That's what Sharon says. Well, good, then I will definitely be watching for it because it's, it's pretty nice right now, I must say. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I don't really have a spring break plan. Uh, we don't do much spring breaking. Ooh, that was amazing. How about that? I flipped my camera and I almost dropped it. My bad. Hi, this is live. It's fine. Anyway, uh, yeah, we don't have really any spring break plans, but we are planning to pull the camper out in a few weeks. Uh, we've made some plans to just uh, take the camper out for the first run of the season. So I'm excited about that. It's gonna be good. Um, yeah. So uh, what, do you, what do you do for spring break? What's your fun spring break thing? Tell me in your comments. Let me know what you're doing. If you're going on a trip or just staying at home or if you're spring cleaning. 
I'm not spring cleaning. I'm just not doing it. It's not happening. I keep my house pretty clean, so it's fine. I'm good. Um, sorry, I keep getting texts on here. <laughs> anyway, it's typical Tuesday, and I just wanted to make sure that I checked in. Like I said, oh my gosh. Y'all, I keep dropping my phone. It's these headphones. I keep tripping my hand on the, uh, on the thing there. Am I zoomed in? Oh, that's helpful. That's better. Anyway, um, I'm trying to think if we got anything coming up. I've got some new things that I'm going to be adding uh, on TiaGoins.com. So if you're not already a member of Team Tia, go over to TiaGoins, T-E-E-A-G-O-A-N-S.com. Uh, sign up for Team Tia. It's free. You'll be getting, uh, it'll send you emails. You'll be on my email list. But we're adding some dates. Uh, it looks like some things are starting to open up in the uh, later summer, um, fall time. Got some stuff in Texas. Got some stuff in Arkansas, I know. Um, North Carolina, we're coming up there. So get ready, it's happening. Like that's what's gonna be going on. So I'm doing a U-turn because I'm doing a U-turn. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so be watching for those things because uh, they will be, I'll be posting those. I'll be posting those on all my social media stuff too when I get those. So Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, la la la, all of that stuff. Be watching for those. Um, yeah, what else? I'm just excited that there's live music coming back. I know, right? See, somebody just said, who said that? Robin said, hope to see you in concert. Thank you. I hope to be in concert. I'm ready. Uh, Susan's spending spring break with her granddaughter. Sharon's youngest daughter is at Purdue University and spring break has been canceled. That's not right. I don't like that at all. Jeffrey said spring cleaning and working on his vinyl record collection. Nice. Christy is booked a campsite at Lake Martin, Alabama for Labor Day. Okay, Labor Day. Lots of dog walking with two golden retrievers. That's what Timothy's doing. That's fun. I saw some people walking a dog through here earlier, a couple of dogs. That's awesome. Just had dinner, Thai food. Ooh, you know, I was trying to decide what to have for dinner tonight, in fact. You know I don't cook much. I mean grilled cheese sandwiches. No, I we just we don't cook at home much. We uh we like to eat out. It's like my hobby. My hobby is eating out. I'm a foodie. I love food. I love food. Are you like that? Like I'm one of those people like I'll be eating lunch and as I'm eating lunch I'm thinking about what I want to have for dinner. Do you do that? Is that just me? Am I just that big of a hog that I love that stuff? I do though, I love food, I love to eat. So what we'll do for dinner tonight. We had Mexican food last night. So, but I could do Mexican food every night. I really could. You throw me some fajitas or tacos or, you know, that kind of stuff on there. Have you ever eaten at Chewy's? Chewy's has ponchos. Timothy said Panera. I had Panera for lunch, Timothy, are you kidding? Come on, I've already been to Panera today. I go to Panera, by the way, if you're new, I eat Panera bread every day for my lunch. In fact, I ate at a totally different Panera today because as I, as I move around the Nashville area, I, I, you know, I, I gravitate to different uh, Paneras. And today I was at one that I haven't been to very many times before because I'm that big of a nerd and I love Panera. I love their Greek salad, they're fabulous. Um, Barb said, think about doing Marty's Don't Worry on your couch covers. Wow, I've never, saying don't worry hmm, interesting speaking of couch covers ben and i are going to get together this week sometime and do some more couch covers so if you have suggestions you will be the first ones to get your your requests in so put them in the comments please and uh we'll try to narrow it down and figure a few out and and get those done because um i don't think i didn't put one up last friday because I'm out, I'm out of them. We usually try to get three or four in the can and I'm, I've run out of the can. So <laughs> um, I need to produce some more. So please post your uh, couch cover request. If you're not familiar with what couch covers is, because this might be your first time. Couch covers is what we do. It's a playlist here on my YouTube page uh, where Ben and I, Ben Hall, he's a fabulous guitar player. We sit on my couch at our house and we play covers. 
Ben and I do cover songs, random cover songs. It can be anything, any kind of music, any whatever, and we do it our style. We, we figure out a way, you know, we kind of come up with an arrangement and we do it, and it's usually pretty on the fly. We usually do it in a take or two, and uh, it's all live and just happens like that. So, Timothy wants to know what was the story behind the Hollywood sign, right? So, sorry, my thumb went in the front of the thing. So I posted a picture, if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, which if you don't, please do. Um, but I posted a picture today that said, uh, did I ever tell you about the time that I went up to the top of the Hollywood sign, like went to the Hollywood sign and there was no one there. I was literally the only person there. So this summer, Brandon and I took a road trip across Route 66. We went from Oklahoma City all the way to Santa Monica Pier which was fantastic and I would highly recommend it to anyone. Take that trip, get your kicks, seriously, it's amazing. So while we were in California, uh, we wanted to see uh, the Hollywood sign, you know, and all the touristy stuff, because I had never been to California. That was my first trip to California. So we were going through there and um, we decided to drive up to see the Hollywood sign and when you put it in on your, like your GPS, it tells you, uh, the GPS, like whatever, here's the directions to get to the Hollywood sign. So we go there, we're following it. Da, da, da. Well, it took you to this observatory that you could see the Hollywood sign, but it was miles away. It was very far away. And I was like, that is not what I was wanting to do. I want to like see the Hollywood sign. Like I want to be close to it. So we start hunting around and it turns out, and if you ever go to California and want to see it, you can go to the last house on Mulholland. That's what it's called. And the last house on Mulholland is, it's, it's a road, Mulholland Drive. And you drive and drive and drive until you get to the end of the road. And when you get to the end of the road, there's another road. So we drive and drive, we get to the end of the road. Well, they've got roadblocks up on the other road that you're supposed to go up. So we couldn't drive up there. And I was like, oh man, like we're this close. I wanna go up there. And there was nowhere to park, cause it's just a street. And so I told Brandon, cause I'm a little bit of a, I don't want to say I'm a daredevil, because like I don't want to bungee jump or anything, but I was like, you stay here, I'm going to go up here and check this out, because I want to see if this is really where it's at. So I take off on foot up this hill, I mean like this hill, crazy hill. It was probably a half mile, maybe three quarters of a mile, and I'm kind of jogging up it because I don't really know what's going on. I have my phone. Of course, there's no service. so. If I needed to call Brandon, there was no way he could reach me or I could reach him, which is not smart, not smart, but we didn't know that till, you know, anyway. So I climb up there and there's, you know, all these keep out signs and all these things like don't come in and blah, blah, blah. And these, you can see it in the background of that picture, those bigger things. But uh, I get up there and there's not a living soul up there. It's just me and the Hollywood sign. And I was like, that's kind of surreal. Like that's kind of a cool, moment you know just me and the hollywood sign so anyway that's my story of me and the hollywood sign and i took some pictures and got to see it right there up close and ran back down the hill and there we away we went and uh, someday i will tell you guys i need to do a, a typical tuesday or something or a live chat with brandon maybe and tell you guys about that road trip it was incredible we went through 13 states in 10 days <laughs> and we stopped at so many random places. We stayed in a wigwam one night. We, uh, we went to Vegas. We uh, saw like all those old, we went through Shamrock, Texas, home of Bill Mack. Um, but we, we just, I mean, it was, it was unbelievable. It really, really was. It, it was very inspiring, um, as you will find out. It was very, very inspiring. Anyway, so um, that's the story on that. Let me see what you guys are saying. Silver Wings, I have not ever sang Silver Wings. It's a good one. Unforgettable, that's a great one. Blue Bayou, you know what? Blue Bayou has been running through my head lately. So maybe that's, maybe that's a sign. Maybe I need to do Blue Bayou in the, uh, in the couch covers. We'll see about that one, it's a great one. I wanna see that new uh, Linda Ronset documentary that's out. Maybe I'll watch that tonight. Maybe that's what we can do. I don't know, have you seen it? Have you seen the? Linda Ronset documentary. I'm not sure. I think it might be on, I don't know if it's on YouTube Red or if it's on 
Netflix, I don't know. But anyway, whatever it's on, I may find it and watch it. I'll give you a review. Anyway, I'm going to pop off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Like I said, jump onto tiagoins.com and get all the... Uh, I did stand on the corner in Winslow, Arizona, Christy. Yes, we did. We absolutely went through Winslow, Arizona. And the other thing I remember about Winslow, Arizona is I had a gargantuous cinnamon roll in Winslow, Arizona. It was fabulous. That's really my big memory. But I did go to the corner, too. Uh, anyway, but yeah, so that's... Uh, that's pretty much what's happening at this time, at this moment. And uh, yeah, I, it's, uh, I, I can't, I think it's, I'm trying to think of the name of that Linda Ronstadt thing. Somebody said they want to see it. It's something about my voice, something about finding my voice or something my voice, I think. I don't remember. Anyway, but that's what's going on. Head to TiaGoins.com. If you're not a member of Team Tia, please do that. If you have not liked and subscribed to this page, please do that. I need subscribers here. It would be great if you would share videos. I've got lots of couch cover videos that I would be happy for you to share. Um, also, if you are on Spotify, would you please follow me on Spotify? Uh, just go to Spotify, look up my name, and there's a little button that says follow. Click that. Or you can go to tagoins.com, and there's literally a button on my website that says follow on Spotify. That'd be great. Um, just as, you know, music is there to hear and to be heard you would like to be following on Spotify so anyway um, yeah like and subscribe on this page be sure that you have clicked the little bell so that you get the uh, the notifications when I go live and um, have a great rest of your week enjoy the weather where you are I hope it's as beautiful as it is here in Nashville and um, yeah that's it have a great week and I love y'all and I will see you next time